Hello, in this video I want to give you a brief overview of all the main features within Z-Switcher. So now with Z-Switcher you can start using Alt and left click drag to orbit. You can hold Alt and middle click drag to pan and you can also hold Alt and right click drag to zoom in and out. Additionally you can hold Alt and middle click drag to pan and then start zooming by left click dragging as well. So there's two methods for zooming. Uh, if for some reason any of these features don't work for you by default, just make sure you uh, go into the Z plugin menu and then Z switcher submenu and make sure they enable Z switcher is uh, active. Here it actually is, but if for some reason not, just make sure it is. And you can see here there's also a disable Z switcher option. So if you're sharing this uh, installation of ZBrush with someone else, uh, they can turn it on and off depending on their preference. Uh, and if you need to turn it back on, you can just enable it there too. So by default, it should automatically be enabled, but if for some reason it's not, just double check and uh, enable it manually. The next set of features I'd like to show you within ZSwitcher are the sculpting functions within ZBrush. So normally within ZBrush, if you wanted to draw a paint stroke, you can just left click drag. Uh, that stays exactly the same within ZSwitcher, nothing different there. So I'm going to undo that. Uh, normally, if you wanted to invert the brush, you would hold Alt, but since Alt is used for orbit, uh, you have to hold Control using Z Switcher to invert the brush. That's very similar uh, and exactly the same as what Maya and Mudbox and some of the other uh, sculpting applications do for the invert uh, function. So Control is now invert. Uh, control is actually being used, I'm going to rotate around here and mention that Control is actually being used in ZBrush. For the masking function so to mask now you'd hold tab and left click drag so you can uh, still tap uh, actually mask but you would hold tab instead of control to invert your brush or your mask uh, function you can hold tab and then hold control to invert it so you can uh, do that as well so anything that was normally mo uh, mapped to alt is now mapped to control and anything that was normally mapped to control is now mapped to uh, tab and Shift is still Shift, so you can still smooth out uh, or do any of the functions that Shift has. In, in, for example, you can uh, snap your, your viewport or your canvas using Shift. The next set of features I'd like to show you within Z-Switcher are the brush resizing and strength tool. This is the one feature, I guess, within Z-Switcher that's not actually enabled for you by default, so you have to do a little bit of work uh, up front to get this to go. Uh, so to do that, you just go into the Z plugin menu and uh, here within the Z-Switcher submenu, there's also a submenu within that that says Assign Brush Hotkeys. So you would want to hold Control and Alt and right click on this function and that will bring up the hotkey editor. Uh, it doesn't really bring up a window, but now you can just press any hotkey on your keyboard to assign a hotkey to this function. So here I'm just going to press B. Uh, B is already being used by default in Z-Switcher for another function. Uh, we'll go over this in again, again in a few seconds, but uh, for now I'm just going to click OK. And I've assigned a hotkey to that function. Uh, I'm going to go over that in a second. And you can see as I hover my cursor over that, you can see that B is assigned to that. I want to do the same thing here for strength. So I'm going to hold Control and Alt and right click that and now press M. And now I have a function for uh, the strength as well. So now and at any point I can hold B and left click drag with uh, and automatically and dynamically adjust my brush size. And I can do the same for M to adjust my Z intensity or my brush strength. There's not much feedback with M uh, in, within the canvas, but you can see here, uh, here that the uh, adjustments are being made as I left click drag and while holding M. Uh, while I was assigning those hotkeys, I lost the hotkey for B, which is actually normally assigned to the brush. So if I wanted to assign that to something else, I can just right click, uh, control alt and right click on that. And now I'm actually gonna press S for that. Uh, that was normally assigned by default in ZBrush to adjust your draw size, but since we've already remapped that to the B key, we don't need that function anymore. So that's it. The last thing you might, might want to do is just go over to your preferences and hotkeys and just click uh, save, or, or actually you can click store, and that'll actually save it to your defaults, and every time you reload ZBrush, it'll load with these same hotkeys that you just set up here. That pretty much does it. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to uh, give us an email or, or post in our forums. Uh, finally, there's also a help option here uh, with more uh, additional information. Um, and again, thank you for watching.